Hello and welcome back to Happy Little Pixels. My name is Patrick and I'm going to be filling in for Chris today playing some Vagante. This is a game that I've been wanting to play some more of for quite a while, but it has officially released as far as I know, as far as uh, Steam has inform informed me. So let's play some Vagante. It's a very difficult, and by very difficult, I mean very difficult kind of dungeon crawly roguelike experience. And we're going to do the t tutorial really quick to show you what's going on with this game. It's quite fun. It's very enjoyable, although it is extremely difficult and you can die pretty much instantly at any moment depending on what happens. <laughs> it's the tutorial, so I don't mind doing that, but it's um it's very difficult. You will die. You will get hurt. But that's kind of half the fun of it to try to get better at the game slowly and eventually achieve success and kill the bosses. There are bosses and mini bosses and I will admit, I have not played this game, except for like five minutes, just making sure that it all worked. I haven't played this game in years. And by years, I mean, you know, this, it was an early access, it had a uh, some good reviews, and it was on everyone's radar, and then it kind of just was in development for a long time. Not development hell, it was just in development. Um, we can upgrade at bonfires, and every bonfire, I think, gives you one level up point. No, you have an XP bar at the bottom of the screen. But I'm gonna just spend my point in sword for just a little like weird dodge move I can I can make happen. There are secret walls and secrets. There's a lot of secrets in the game. I think the XP bars at the bottom, you see that little yellow bar at the bottom left of the corner of the screen, it will extend across the screen as we kill things. And I'm whoa, get out of that. Get out of the menu. And I think that's the XP bar. So I've got this bow here. Nope. Nope, gotta actually put on the bow. I'm gonna just shoot these enemies because it's the tutorial and that's what you do in the tutorial. This uh, this green trajectory arrow, that's that's new to me. I don't remember that in the last time I played Vigante, so that's, it's nice because I do remember it being kind of awkward to kind of tell where your shots were going, but this makes it a little bit, a little bit easier to do that. We have spells, we have ranged attacks, we have melee attacks. And we're gonna read this book and then cast a spell at these guys, and you know that's it. That is that is Vagante. You have to just survive and and explore and learn about the world that we live in here today. Yeah, there's quick swap, but we only have a couple of really bad weapons. There's shops. You can fight the shopkeeper and then try to die from the shopkeeper. You can also steal from the shopkeeper when he walks into into the uh, shop to look at his wares. You can walk in behind him and then. He doesn't know what's going on, and you can steal right from under him. But you want to try your best not to get caught, because if you get caught, you're going to have a bad time. Oh, I'm getting surrounded. Our sword does a little bit of freezing, which is why we froze that guy. Is everyone dead? Everyone's dead. Line of sight in this game, surprisingly important. Like, we cannot see around corners, so we can only see things that we have line of sight on. It's very interesting, and it's kind of, kind of unique. I don't, I don't know a lot of games that actually have line of sight, like hiding enemies around corners as being the, an important feature. But it is in Vagante. So we're gonna start our first run as the knight in the dark caves. We've lost all of the uh, equipment that we that we uh, had from the tutorial, so we're gonna have to. Start again. You can't really move once you kind of wind up an attack. So we have to be a little bit careful. And even like the most basic of enemies. Oh, crap! <laughs> Don't fall. Even the most basic of, of enemies are uh, a bit of a problem when you have really bad weapons and no skills to go along with them. The skills are really important. Make sure that you can actually efficiently kill things, and that's an arrow trap down there, it looks like. We have the Wand of Healing. What the hell is this? A tool which conjures magical healing orbs. I mean, that seems pretty interesting for me, considering that I have wounded myself. Let's see if we can make this work. <laughs> it just, it just works. It just, you just toss little healing orbs around and then you just suck them up. Okay, that's, that seems very nice, honestly. 
I want that. I want more of that. There's a secret wall right here. That seems like a very nice way to temporarily, anyways, recover a little bit of HP. We will kind of lose the charges from that. I don't know if there's a way to regain charges in magic items. This game has underg undergone a lot of development since the last time I've played it. Green Potion. I don't know if we have to check for mimics or anything. We, and we have an old hood. Everything in the game, as far as I know, is unidentified. To start with, everything has like magical attributes. You can get good, really good attributes. You can get cursed attributes on items. And I think cursed attributes might make it so that you can't take it off unless you can purge the curse or something, but I'm just gonna put it on. As soon as you put it on, you, you, you learn what it is. Slow aura and lightning resistance. The slow aura seems like it might be kind of nice. Oh, good lord, what the hell. I remember those guys. You can only hurt them when they try to hit you. The slow aura seems like it might be really, really fantastic because we could use that to uh, make combat a little bit more, more manageable because we are a melee focused character. We are the knight. That's just some more arrows. And it looks like there's a shrine right there. I want to see what that shrine is. We have to be careful about the shrine though because the shrine can be destroyed accidentally if we try to attack near it. Oh God, get out of here, get out of here. Oh, I'm not gonna be in for a good time. How the hell? <laughs> I mean, if they just wanna keep jumping at me, that works. Oh. There's a lot of like cheesing in this game. If you can cheese the enemies, freaking do it. Let's go this way. Oh, okay. I think he ran into my sword. You can pick up the barrels and you can throw them. I don't really know if they do a lot of damage. What is this? The shackled. We have to like I think we have to drop items at shrines and that's how you how you interact with them. We don't really have much to drop except for five arrows and a potion. And that didn't do anything. I don't want to drop my hood. I don't really want to drop my healing wand. We can use some healing wands. Heal up a little bit. We might as well. I mean, y you do heal a little bit when you reach bonfires, but I'm I'm super interested in seeing how we can get charges on this wand back. But you know what? Why don't we try putting the wand on the altar and seeing what happens? Unequip, drop. Oh my god, it ate it. Or it tried to eat it. Didn't do anything. Hey. No, it doesn't doesn't like that item. This is weird. Put the hood on it. Doesn't like the, the hood. Okay. Boulder protection plus one dexterity. I think boulder protection means that you can't instantly die from getting a boulder landing on your head. We could give him my sword. <laughs> he doesn't doesn't like the sword. I have no idea. I have no idea. We might have to come back here. I think we can also destroy the shrines. And if we destroy the shrines, maybe we get something, maybe we get cursed. I don't know. But there's something up with that shrine that we can't really interact with right now. You are a smart boy. I mean, I wanted him to do that. <laughs> but I don't know why he decided on it. We have to be careful around spikes. We can, we can walk through spikes but you cannot land on the spikes, that will kill you. But I, you know, whenever there's spikes, I think to myself, hey, is there a way that I can make the enemies jump on the spikes? And that guy down there at the bottom left corner, he's a mini boss, we're gonna have to kill him soon. But we might as well try to kill the other enemies first. 
Book of Flame Pillar. That seems like it could be really nice, but I'm also thinking, well, what if I put it on the shrine? What'll happen if I put it on the shrine? There's a lot of experimentation until you know what everything in this game is or does. Let's try it. Ow. I don't think the uh, the mouth <laughs> likes the Book of Flame Pillar, so we might as well might as well read it. So now we have a new spell, Flame Pillar, which might be good against this upcoming boss, mini boss. This is this is no boss. This is a mini boss. But maybe we can you know create a Flame Pillar and then he'll try to try to run through the Flame Pillar and he'll end up dying. He's a pain in the ass, and we don't really have a lot of good weapons or items to deal with him. I kind of want him to come over here. I don't think he'll die from the spikes, but I want him to get away from his friend. Yeah, come on, come on. Probably gonna have to kill his friend. Yo, friend, come here. His friend is pretty dumb, okay. We have Flame Pillar, let's walk over here and cast it. Okay. That doesn't seem very good, I will admit. Oh, he grabbed me, he grabbed me. He tried to throw me on the, on the spikes. What a rude dude. Oh God, what the hell? I guess that's an attack I didn't really realize this guy had. He reaches out with his hand and grabs you. I thought he was like holding a dog out in front of him or something. It was like the maw of the beast. We haven't taken a lot of damage yet. This might just be the, oh, right. This might just be the way to do it. Just kind of jump around a bit. Oh, he grabbed me. Son of a gun. I don't I don't want to jump because if I jump, I might jump into spikes. So we're just gonna leave real quick. He's dead! Oh, thank god. So when you kill the mini bosses, you get the treasure key and you can use the key to open treasure chests, like that one that's right up here. We got a gray scroll out of that barrel. You know, I guess it is beneficial to to break open barrels so you, you can get scrolls and stuff. A lot of money. Yellow draught. Yellow draught. Night gauntlets. That can't be bad, right? It's not gonna be cursed. Heavy punches, plus one dexterity, intelligence, and defense. Heavy punches. I wonder if that means that like, we could just do like a melee build. <laughs> Regardless, plus one dexterity, intelligence, and defense is really good. We have two of these yellow draught potions. Let's take one. Intelligence minus one. Mm. Well, we're not really a uh, intelligence-based character here anyways. Light brown scroll. Oh, I... <sighs> I got an arrow stuck in my back. I saw the, uh, the ground plant dude, but I didn't realize there was an arrow trap above it. I didn't see it. Okay. Shopkeeper, what do you have? Potion of lower luck or demonic magic rod. Recharges from hitting enemies. It is a damage to gold. Damage to gold. Like if you hit things with it, you you get gold? I have no idea. This could be like an absolutely amazing item that breaks the economy of the game, or it could be trash. Let's save our money. The scholar. The scholar makes me think, drop scrolls. Oh, he liked that. He's liking the scrolls, but I'm not getting anything out of the shrine. How about dropping a potion? No. Wand? Nope. We could just break it. I don't really want to break the shrine. <laughs> it seems like uh, it's just inviting bad luck. 
It's been a pretty good, pretty good run. Is there like a secret room behind that guy's shop? Hold on, there. Let me go to the options and make the uh, the mini map bigger. Yeah, there we go. There we go, that's much easier to see. No, that's just, we haven't been into his shop room. I could go and steal his thing. Oh, 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 he's pissed, he's pissed, he's pissed. We might as well go steal it then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't think we can get, can we get this guy to like, uh, jump on spikes? Cause if we can get him to jump on spikes, I'll be very happy about that. We could just leave, we could just leave. I will admit, we could just leave. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, all right, we have a new item. <laughs> this doesn't belong to you, thief. Interesting, I didn't realize the game would keep track of that. Damage to gold. We'll figure out what that does on the next room, on the next level. Damage to gold, it's either something that's gonna be positive for my gold, like if we hit an enemy with it, it, it turns into gold, or it's gonna be something completely trash. I have no idea. So we could get defense, hold down the block, immune to knockback, gain a recharging defensive shield, could be good, or we could just get better at attacking. Hold down an attack while falling for a falling attack. Hold your attack button to gather strength. Let's try for a defense. I really have no idea what's good or not, and I think this is just a save book. We could save our progress and go back to the main menu. Okay, so let's see what this frickin' wand does. I have no idea. Each one of those guys dropped three money. And now he dropped two money. So I guess if we were to use that... <laughs> if we were to use the magic wand, we could get extra... Oh, we're... Shopkeeper seems pissed at us. If we use the magic wand, we could get extra money, but that doesn't seem very good. Use the scroll? Let's use the scroll. Apply to item, okay. Let's apply it to the uh, the sword. It's a scroll of identify, okay. I should have done it on the helmet, or on the crossbow, I should say. But at least now we know. We have a green potion, let's take it. El Elecrez. Electricity resistance, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like, what the hell? So now we can hold down to block damage. Hi. I know this guy's pissed at me, but I'm thinking, you know, he's probably an idiot. I imagine he can die to the spikes. And we might as well just continue our, uh, <laughs> our stealing adventures here. Are we gonna fall through this? Yes, we do. Okay. A bomb! Seems nice. <laughs> it's a fairy. I do remember the fairies. If you bring the fairy to the end of the level, she'll give you something. XP or... Or health? I, I don't remember what. Hey, come on. I probably got to, like, hit you out. So we'll try to bring her to the end of the level, but it's gonna be a while until we get there. So we might as well keep exploring for the time being. Ah, this this fountain. I know what the fountain does, I think. I think if we put money in the fountain, we get health. May the light shine upon you. We're getting some health back, that seemed pretty nice. Maybe not as much as I would have liked, but we're not really, you know, spending money on anything else right now, are we? Oh, what the hell are you?
There's a chicken. Why is there a chicken? Chicken. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the chicken. I mean, I want to hit this guy. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I want to grab the chicken and put the chicken somewhere safe. Taking a lot of damage here. Oh. Didn't mean to fall down here with a dude. <laughs> Fighter's gloves. Game's hard, man. Um, bomb, apply to? What? Subtly increases weapon's reach, okay. How can I apply a bomb? Apply to... The helmet? No. Apply to the sword? Apply to the crossbow? I have no idea what we can apply the bomb to. Arrows? Explosive arrows. Okay, let's try some exp explosive arrows. How do, I, how do I equip my arrows? Uh, hold on. There we go. It's a crossbow, so we have to prime it every time we, we use it. All right, that's pretty good. Just one hit kill that guy, and I think we can get this freaking demon here. You know what, that's pretty good. I think we just did like 80 damage to this demon man. And he's spitting fireballs at us. Makes me think that maybe the, the flame attack that we have is not gonna be very good against him. Oh, oh, we got stunned. Oh, we're on fire too. That's probably not good. Yo, I'm gonna hang out by the water, I think. Excuse me. He's dead, he's dead. That went surprisingly well. Thank you, Bomb, for making that happen. I can't spend money at the shrine, at the fountain. Oh, it's, we still got this guy to, he's like a freaking thief. Come here. It's a freaking, got him. He's trying to get away. I don't know, I don't know who this man is, but I will get you. No. It's a little finicky to use the freaking crossbow. I guess he stole a lot of my money. Well, now that I have money, I'm gonna go use it on the shrine. <laughs> For three, eight, three, uh, three health, that's it, three health. I mean, it's something. I will admit at this point, I kind of wish that I didn't piss off the shopkeeper. Go, go, don't fall, don't fall. Yeah, get out of here, explosive bug. Hopefully he's dead. Hopefully the enemies can take fall damage. No, they don't. Maybe he, he did or something. I haven't been using my new defensive ability at all. Just hasn't really felt necessary. Goodbye. Should use the crossbow here. Might as well take out the exploder and I think I can, yeah. Just very carefully. Get those items. All right, we have some potions and an ax. I have used the ax once, and it seems like it's a very strong weapon that is very difficult to hit with because the ax has a very particular range. Vitality plus one. I guess potions are permanent upgrades, potentially. Strength minus one. Well, maybe we shouldn't have done that. It's also glimmering. Zudite Summer Sorrow. Splash attack, plus speed, intelligence, and luck. What? 
It seems awesome. It seems very slow and heavy, but it seems nice. There's a few things left for us to do. We need to heal, and we need to bring the chicken to the exit in the ferry. I don't know if the chicken does anything. Like, maybe it's just prevent preventing fall damage or something. Yeah. Because I can't actually bring the chicken up the ladder, so I don't think we, there's anything we can do there. But with her, she just climbs on our back and holds on for dear life, and we can bring her to the exit. And again, I forget what we get for bringing her to the exit, but it's probably important that we do. Um, okay, well, you know what? Stay there for a second, I'll be back. Be back later, baby. Go to the store. Because there's another giant area over to the bottom left in the minimap, and I wanna go explore that before we leave. It's got a big letter B on it, and I don't know, don't know what that means, because we, sp I guess that's where we spawned in from, wasn't it? Well, it could be something over here. There's nothing, but there could have been. <laughs> it's probably gonna be hard to swing in the air to try to find a secret room with this slow ass sword. Now this looks interesting. It's like a, it's a secondary exit that's locked and we've already spent the key on the on the treasure room chest. Interesting. I wonder if this is like a, a bonus path through the game or a shortcut or a secret level, or maybe it's just something completely different. I don't know. I mean, you're gonna jump on the spikes. That's kind of what slimes do. All right, I think we're done. We have explored everything, so. Well, now that we know that there is gonna be a secret door on some levels, we should probably wait to spend the key until after we have fully explored things. So that's probably what we will end up doing. But we have fairy, ooh. We can give some more. Can we break the shrine? Yes, we can, let's not. <laughs> I don't wanna piss off whatever god is at work behind that shrine of health. What about the chicken? Eat the chicken? Killed the chicken. Okay. <laughs> Chicken's dead. Um, you're coming with me. I think you can kill her, so you gotta be a little bit careful. But let's see what she gives us. She seems happy. Healing. Maybe like 30 or 40 healing, that's pretty good. And then we can heal another 20 from the uh, bonfire. Okay, I I appreciate the healing. We needed that. Become immune to knockback when taking damage. You know what? It seems like we should probably just stack up upgrades in one tier, shouldn't we? Dark Caves 3. I believe, if I am not mistaken, there's gonna be fighting of boss forms here. There's another shrine, another magic wand, couple of enemies that, well one sees us, slime sees us. Oh and it hurt us, it hurt us? Yeah, I can't jump. Thought I was gonna get the drop on that slime. What is this, the bloody. Can we, do we get into it? Yes, if I just press right trigger, we get into it. Let's get into it. Show me your skill. I have no idea what that means. I was kind of hoping I could just put something into it because I don't really want to have to like show you my skill. Maybe we do more damage, but we, we take more damage whenever we get hit as well. I don't know. Book of Magic Missile. Worms. Oh no. I crit that guy, but I don't know if that's because of the, uh, the shrine or not.
I don't think we're doing any more damage because I think we have a pretty good axe here, even though it is very slow. Ah, ah. What is nice about the axe though, axe though is that it looks like we can hit enemies. Oh, we are taking more damage. No, we're not taking more damage. I think you can hit enemies that are below you. Maybe we're getting more money? Whatever it was, I don't think it was worth it <laughs> from that bloody shrine. Oh, okay, no, we're just gonna fight a boss now. Yeah, this seems nice. Uh, we should probably leave. There's a big worm boss. Yeah, there's a worm boss somewhere. Where are you? Is he on the ceiling? No, where do you, I, don't, I don't know where, there he is. Oh crap, oh God. Can't hit him. Ah, you, jerk. I think I need a big open area to fight him effectively. Maybe I'm wrong. There he is, there he is, there he is. Come here. Yo, the axe seems like it's doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And honestly, Worm Boss hasn't really done anything to me. He keeps trying to get over to me. Oh, okay, he's pissed now. Is he dead? He's dead. I have, what? What? Does my axe have like a poison on it or something? Splash attack. Oh, splash, it, it's like an AOE. It's not like we fire water out of the gun. I think we killed him thanks to the splash damage. Which is nice. Very nice. So he's dead, the boss has been killed. We fought all three. Oh the nasty enemies. Another freaking hat. I don't need any more hats. I really like the hat that I have right now. Yeah, I really like when you, I can get on top of an enemy because it seems like I can just hit him. Maybe not this guy. I can push him down off of the platform by bouncing on his head. How cute. How adorable. I kinda wanna go interact with that bloody shrine again just to see what's happening with it. Like maybe it does something else. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you broke the box for me. Hey, don't do that. Do not aggro that freaking shopkeeper. Okay. That does nothing. No, get out! Oh, they're on top of me. Jump. Okay, okay. okay. This is the Smith. Freaking red guys! I should just be using the uh, the crossbow. There's no reason not to be using the crossbow against them. I think. <gasps> You know what? Recharge the crossbow. I think that's my uh, biggest problem here. <laughs> you know, use what you got. Come on. All right, you know what? If you just wanna sit there and jump, you can sit there and jump. Now I don't see any like hidden exits or anything. There's only one E on the minimap, so I'm gonna go over here and open this. We get a new thing of gloves. Subtly increases weapon reach. Similar to the ones that we have, I think. Vitality, defense, fire resistance, dexterity, intelligence, defense. I think this is fine. Flame aura? I like that. 
Envenomed Hammer. Eh, might as well stick with the freaking axe. Unequip that. Unequip. What's our helmet? Flame Aura, and the last helmet was Slow Aura or Boulder Protection. I think Flame Aura is all right. Let's drink some potion. Fire Resistance minus one. Fire Resistance plus one. Okay. <laughs> I guess we know what to pick up in the future then. And there is the Smith. So I think if we drop something here, we can get an upgrade. So why not drop the stolen sword and see what happens? He doesn't like that. Drop the blessed hammer. Drop the... Well, I mean, the weird gladiator gloves are just better than the strange fighter's gloves. So we'll uh, toss that in for the smithy. Okay, doesn't like that. Shiny rock head. I didn't even look at this. Freezing aura plus a lot of stuff. Plus it's stolen. Let's get rid of it. I grant you this. Studded helmet. Freezing aura plus... Poison resist, defense, vitality, and dexterity. I think freezing aura would be nice. It's probably better than slowing aura. And we can keep it. Oh no, we can't keep it in the flame aura. It's on, not on the right item. Let's go um interact with the shopkeeper for a second. He's gonna be pissed at us, but if I can get him to uh, jump in this stuff. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. Yes! Oh, what? I get a little bit of freezing every once in a while. He's gonna own me. He's gonna own me. He's gonna own me. No, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And you know what? That's okay. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. We should probably have not pissed off the shopkeepers. But I want to see what he has in his shop. Probably not anything <laughs> worth this trouble. What do we have? We have... A gray scroll. I'm gonna read it. Magic mapping. So we actually can see the entire map. It must be shop. Magic mapping, I mean, we could use that on the next floor. Underwater breathing and knockback plus one to strength. These seem like terrible items. These items do not seem worth the trouble of having to deal with the freaking shopkeeper. All right, let's level up. We have 23 HP. That's probably not gonna last us for a long time. But I do like the idea of getting a recharging defensive shield. Maybe it can block a hit of damage or something. And it looks like we're leaving the caves, because now we're in the forest. And I'm gonna use magic mapping. Oh, there's stuff attacking us immediately. Oh, what? Get out of here. At least I can, like, sometimes attack things when they're frozen in the water. What the hell is this freaking imp guy shooting arrows at me for? Out of here, you piece of garbage. That looks like a secret wall. <laughs> Another book of flame pillar. We already have one of those. All right, I want to get to the magic mapping scroll. Just want to see. I want to see what I'm dealing with. Oh, what the hell is all that blue? I guess that's probably sky. Shouldn't be worried about it. We should be fine. That's chicken. What do I do with the chicken? How, what do I do with the chicken? Can I can I light the can I cook the chicken? Can I make cooked chicken? Probably check for mimics every once in a while. Rockhead. Shopkeeper. 
let's not deal with the shopkeeper for once. I'd rather not die. Pink scroll. I'm gonna use it, cause... Okay. Cause honestly, anything that could give me healing, I basically feel like I need to use. Teal scroll, what does this do? Uncurse, oh that seems really nice. I can't, oh, Christ. I was in the middle of interacting with the, uh, the scroll. I think I enchanted the scroll that I just used. <laughs> Look, whatever. Okay. Ah, you gotta hit the base. Get out of here. These guys like running away from me. What is that? It looks like um, a platform with two ropes attached to it, but I have no idea how to actually get over there. In fact, I'm not even sure I can get over there. We have uh, scrolls of uncurse, so... So we can always uncurse ourselves if we find an item with curse. My HP went down. Why did my HP go down all of a sudden? bet you it was because I took off something that gave me vitality, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let's take some potions. You begin to regenerate. <gasps> yes! It was a big red potion, I think. Let's keep that in mind. Oh! Oh! You! You have a longer range than I thought. I'm dead. I'm dead. If you get stunned by enemies' attacks often, you may need more stability. That's not the problem. The problem was... Frickin' uh, Plantera here. I thought Plantera only had a short reach on the frickin' mouth. If I realized that, I wouldn't have uh, just stood there. Because I thought it was going to stop in range, in the perfect position, to get a swing in on the axe, but that's not what happened there. So we've unlocked a new background, which is just like a modifier for your hero, and we have unlocked the alternate cave music. Interesting. Well, that's... that's Savagante. I've been wanting to play this more since it, uh... It was out of early access, and it has had its full release. So I know I'm going to be playing some more of this, and for as long as, as long as uh, we need something for happy little pixels, I'll play some Vagante. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.